Welcome back. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great holiday season. Today I am back with the Valentine's Day home decor video. I had so much fun decorating and refreshing my space. So I thought I would go ahead and share a few ideas and tricks and tips on how I created all of this. So for Valentine's Day, I brought back out my cotton wreath from Hobby Lobby and I just added some clip on hearts from the Target dollar spot. I wanted to make my coat rack look cute and just like it went with everything else in the house so I added this garland that I made using Dollar Tree dollies and then the love sign is from Hobby Lobby. For anyone that doesn't follow me on Instagram, my husband is actually deployed at the moment and before he left he gifted me this little countdown that he got at Things Remembered. It just kind of counts down until the days that he's home and that was such a thoughtful gift. I love it so much and it's gonna be in my entryway until he gets back. So that is from Things Remembered. Like I said, the candlesticks and the heart are from TJ Maxx. The frame and the PS I love you sign are from the Target dollar spot. The vase is from Marshalls and then all the florals are from Hobby Lobby. I have another garland that I made using the Dollar Tree dollies on here. For the bottom shelf, the two wooden vases are from Hobby Lobby along with the love sign and the little stand where the vase with the florals are in. The Let's Stay Home sign is from the Target dollar spot. The basket is from Target and then the florals are all from Michaels. to the other side of my entryway I always love to switch out the little signs inside of this tobacco basket so I added another one of those Dollar Tree dollies in there on the bench area I have the pink pillow which is from Walmart and then the you and me pillow is from the Target dollar spot this year and I also just have a little lantern that I picked up at Hobby Lobby with the pink candle in there from Ikea by now, you probably already guessed my color scheme for Valentine's Day. I try to incorporate a lot of white blushes and some wood tones to break everything up. So I decided to kind of just use everything in my house to kind of stay in that color scheme. So for my couch, I have these white pillows from Target. The pink blush ones are pillow covers from Amazon and the throw is from Costco. For my tray, I added this wooden lantern that I got at Hobby Lobby. The florals are from Burlington. The wooden heart is also from Hobby Lobby. And then the little sign is from the Target dollar spot this year. For my mantle, again, I kept it very simple and just used stuff that I already had. Everything on here is from Hobby Lobby with the exception of the two white dollies that are on each side of the frame. But everything else is from there, either from last year or this year. And I just love the simplicity of this. I love all the pinks and the greenery, and I just feel like it looks very romantic. 
This heart garland I scored at Target last year after their Valentine's Day clearance sale. I picked it up for only $3. I am hoping to get this year's version at that price as well. After Valentine's Day decor goes on sale, they have a very similar version. It just has a little bit more of pink tones and I know that would definitely go with my decor for next year. For the bottom shelf of my mantle, I have a basket with just some throw pillows that I got at Burlington, and then the little lanterns are from Hobby Lobby along with the little stand. I like to change a few of the decor items that I have on this little side table in my living room. So I added some of these roses into the glass vase that are from Hobby Lobby. The you and me sign is also from there and then the wooden houses are from Target a few years ago. On the bottom shelf I just have some more pillows from Target. We're going to be heading into the dining room area now and this is the little display that I created on top of my hutch. I just used a whole bunch of items from Hobby Lobby and the Kisses Hand is from Michaels. This is my Valentine's Day Ray Dunn display. I uploaded this picture on Facebook and also on Instagram and you guys have shown me so much love on this display. I am so happy that you guys loved it. Everything is pretty much from Hobby Lobby except for the PS I love you sign that is from Walmart last year but the greenery the florals the hearts um, everything is pretty much from there the little basket that has the love sign at the very top I actually made that basket using um, the love letters were from the 99 cent store last year and the florals are from Hobby Lobby and then the actual basket is from TJ Maxx a few months ago but I just love how everything just fit in here. I used a lot, a lot of my white Ray Dunn and then I didn't collect any of the red stuff because I'm not really into red for Valentine's Day. I like a little bit more of the soft touch. So when I saw that she came out with pink mugs, I was all over them. So I was able to get my hands on two and I just love the way it came out. For my kitchen table centerpiece, I always keep it very simple as well because I have a lot going on on the side so I just added some roses to the greenery in this space. And then for my mug rack, the hello love sign is from Hobby Lobby. I added again just greenery and roses that is also from Hobby Lobby. The dollies are from the Dollar Tree. Um, the XOXO sign is from Michaels a few years ago and then I have a few of these like candy donuts that I found at the 99 cent store last year and I just kind of put everything together and I love the way it looks. I love all the pink in my house. It definitely makes me feel like it's very girly and I am just loving it. For my coffee bar shelves, I added this made with love sign that is from Target last year and mostly everything on here is either Ray Dunn or from Ross. Again, just using greenery and florals from Hobby Lobby. On the second shelf, I used my little mixer and I bought the little heart from Target Dollar Spot that says I love you more than brunch. And then the florals are from Burlington.
On the counter area, I just added some florals into my flowers vase, and I just have my tea and my cream standing on this little stand from Home Goods, and I have my beauty mug on my Keurig. Moving along to my sink area, you guys know I like to switch this up as well. So I added this rose inside this vase from Hobby Lobby and then the little plant is from TJ Maxx. And I just have my Mrs. Myers hand soap on there. This cute dish towel is from Burlington and it says I love hugs, I love kisses, but I really love those who do the dishes and that could not be any more true. By my stove area, I added this cute little tray from TJ Maxx and then in my tools crock, I added a few of some Valentine's Day spatulas that I found at Walmart. I have some cutting boards, my oats, chocolate chips, and granola canisters, and then a few florals to kind of break all of the white up. I love adding a seasonal sign up on top of my stove. So this I love you one I found at Marshalls and then I brought back out my magnolia wreath at the very top. Just added some roses in there and my dish towels are from Home Goods. On this side of my counter, I just have my little oven with a tear tray. The tray is from Hobby Lobby. It comes in a wood color, but I painted mine white. I always get so many questions on it. And I just added a bunch of red down in here, again with the same hearts from Hobby Lobby. And the XOXO sign is from Michaels. For Christmas, you saw that I changed a few of the signs on this wall. So for Valentine's Day, I just added this heart that I got at Target a few years ago and my boxwood wreath. That's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video on my home decor tour for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Instagram for any decor updates. I'm always sharing on there with you guys ideas. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see this upcoming year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye!